my name is Enrique Busquets. I'm responsible for engineering systems and electronics here in North America. And we've been working on several products to maximize productivity, safety, efficiency for different applications here regionally. Mobile elevating work platforms are heavily used in construction sites, airports, and many other workplaces where the operator has to reach far heights. MEWPs comprise traditionally very long hoses. Those hoses are usually routed throughout the machine structure, which lead to not only expensive operating costs and production costs, but also service costs. Additionally, those machines traditionally leave the operator on its own to maneuver the machine around very challenging areas and usually avoid those objects. Uh, and if uh, the operator is not completely aware of the surroundings, it can lead to very expensive and sometimes tragic uh, accidents. Here at Bosch Rexroth, we focus on four focus areas for this application. Focus on the electrification and improvement of efficiency of the system. We focus on increasing the operator awareness and obstacle detection. We focus also on improving the operability of the machine, but also finally on the reduction of the complexity of the system, the weight, and ultimately the costs. We have addressed the state of the art and challenges of this application through the development of a system functional bundle called Decentralized Room Control, or DVC. The system ultimately increases the efficiency of the system, eliminates the complexity of the control elements being in a central fashion, it allows for the operator to have more electronics to its advantage and increase its awareness of the surroundings, but also minimizes the machine weight, energy consumption, and improves the productivity of the machine. Hi, uh, my name is Joteo Kim. I'm senior engineer in Bosch Electros. I focus on electrification, electronic control, uh, assistance, and automation functions for MEWPs. For the traditional system, it uh, has a centralized manifold, which has a pair of uh, uh, hydraulic hoses to each actuators. The traditional systems for the simultaneous motion for unevenly loaded actuator, they use hydraulic compensators and multiple pumps to achieve that. And this contributes negatively because adding complexity and adding cost to the system. In our DVC system, uh, we replace those hoses to a pair of central common hydraulic hoses, which interconnects all the actuators and its control elements uh, attached on the actuator. So by doing this, we modify the three uh, actuators to the decentralized system, and the required hydraulic hose lengths uh, reduce the 40% uh, compared to the existing machine. The benefit of reducing hose lengths uh, 40% uh, will uh, reduce the system weight, and also uh, reduce the complexity of the uh, hydraulic system, and it will uh, reduce the cost of the system. Our DBC functional bundle exploits a uh, single actuator control uh, using a uh, throttleless actuation. This uh, is by uh, controlling either the displacement of a variable pump and uh, electric motor speed. As a consequence, the output flow of the pump is directly controlling the actuator motion. This will translate efficiency increase uh, up to 55%. We did this uh, by electronic flow sharing, uh, which can distribute flow using proportional valve and IMU sensors, uh, which are attached on the actuator. Proportional valve and IMU sensors will enable additional functionality, such as electronic platform leveling, which can remove the existing hydromechanical leveling system. And the benefit will be uh, reduced weight and the reduced cost. For this kind of simultaneous motion uh, of a pump and the electric motor, uh, we developed advanced control uh, for the pump displacement and electric motor speed. So what we have implemented is we embedded a full efficiency map into the, our uh, Lexros RC controller and to the instantaneous optimization to find out the most efficient displacement and electric motor speed uh, at the given uh, condition. This will lead to additional efficiency increase up to uh, 10% compared to the non-optimized control. 
With a smooth operation with our DBC system, we can make a cup of tea with a spoon attached on the platform. My name is Paul Gannett, and I'm a control systems engineer. This machine's being controlled with our Bosch Rexroth BODOS series of controllers and sensors, including our MM7 inertial measurement unit and our PR4 pressure sensor. The MM7 inertial measurement unit is used to compute the angle and speed of every joint in the system, which is used to do advanced control techniques. The pressure sensors are also used in the system as feedback for what's going on in the high pressure line. The RC controller reads all the inputs from the operator and the sensors at 100 times per second, does the math to compute the speeds and trajectory of the machine, and then outputs current control outputs to the valve and sends CAN messages to the electric motor controller to control the speed of that motor. Our software is fully customizable. Using model-based design, we were able to plan ahead for many different architectures of system with fewer joints, more joints, rotational or prismatic, and we can customize it for any customer. Our software supports both diesel and electric machines, and we can control our pump in three modes. We can have a fixed displacement mode, a variable displacement mode, or if we have electric motor control also, we can optimize the efficiency by controlling the motor speed and pump displacement simultaneously. My name is Adrian Lasrade. I'm currently part of the engineering systems group here at Rexroth in Fountain Inn, South Carolina. Currently, I'm working on the newest ultrasonic sensor system that's being developed by Rexroth. Over here, what we're doing is we're creating an envelope around the basket. It either slows down the machine or ultimately stops the machine based on how close an object is to the basket. The sensors were originally developed for the automotive market, so they have a really high IP rating, which is a IP 6K, 9K. Another thing is these sensors send data via CAN or J1939, and so they can be easily integrated into machine platforms, either during development or later on as a retrofit kit. Um, my favorite feature is the direct echo and the cross echo functionality. In direct echo, each sensor provides information about objects it sees within its field of view. This is available with our USS standard kit. In the cross echo system, multiple sensors work together to triangulate an object with respect to the machine location. Uh, this is done using advanced signal processing techniques. It's available as part of our ultrasonic sensor premium kit. So this kit has multiple applications. In our use case, we've used it as an envelope around the basket on the aerial work platform. But this can also be used on skid steer loaders, excavators, and wheel loaders as a blind spot monitoring system. This is done because in machines such as these, the operator cannot always be aware of its surroundings. Now, another use case for a system like this is for navigation uh, and lane centering applications. This is done to prevent either damage to the machine itself or to the surroundings. But to be honest, you are just limited by your own imagination in terms of where a system like this could be used. Here in Bosch Rexroth, we clearly focus on the future. We're taking into account future trends, customer feedback, and everything that's surrounding this application in order for us to develop those products and optimize solutions.